Are hike photo files driving you nuts? These are the format of photos that come from an iPhone, and in some cases, we have to convert them to JPEGs so that we can use them in the programs that we love. Join me now, and I'm gonna show you a quick way to do it. Hi, my name is Molly Bartelt. I own Pixology, where we have helped people organize millions of photos over the past 10 years. We have a system that we've developed and we share it in this video. It's really a great opportunity for you to look at all of your photos and figure out what needs to be done and what you might need help with. I invite you to watch it because we learned <laughs> the hard way how to do some of this stuff and you don't have to go through that. I definitely recommend that on your iPhone, you change your settings so that your camera takes pictures in the JPEG format. And when you connect your phone to your computer, you use a cable and you have the setting in your photos area to set it most compatible. If that made no sense, it's okay. I've got a video for you to watch and you'll see exactly how to change the settings. Occasionally, those of us who have our settings set, we still end up with hike files on our phone as well as on our computer. Now, Apple made this format high efficiency so that they were smaller and took up less space on phones. But many companies, including Forever, which is our recommended memory saving solution, does not allow you to upload hike files to their website. So we have to convert them. The best program that I have seen is called iMazing Converter. Okay, it's really quick and easy to use. I'm gonna get it set up here and show you. Okay, I have searched for the name of the program. It's called iMazing Converter, and it's made by a company called iMazing. They have a, a larger program. We wanna scroll past that result and go down to iMazing Converter for the simplest solution. You'll just click in here and download and install the program on your computer. When you're ready, you'll launch iMazing Converter and it's this simple interface. It's just waiting for you to drop your hike files right in here. So what I like to do is I create a folder for every month of my photos. So we're gonna look at the pictures from October of 2024. And immediately when I open it, you can see I've got hike files in here. My um, husband went to Europe and he airdropped me all of these photos that he wants me to save for him. Also, I noticed down here around Halloween, my daughter sent me pictures as well and she takes hike images. Her phone's set to hike files too. So now I like to have all of these pictures in here and I want an easy way to just drop them into this converter box, right? So what I recommend, I'm out working on a Mac in the Finder, but you can do this in Windows in File Explorer. You're gonna wanna change the view to be a list and then you're gonna sort by kind. So on a finder, it's view by list and sort by kind. On a PC, you'll be viewing as details and sorting as a type, all right? So what happens is all of my pictures now are sorted by the type and these hike files uh, are all grouped together. And it's interesting, um, the kind is identified as a hyph image. It's high efficiency image format, I think. Um, but they abbreviate the extension to H-E-I-C. So I'm just scrolling down. I've clicked the first one. <clears throat> And I am just gonna hold the shift key down and select the last of the list, all right? And then I can just drag it all, let me just click, and I can drop it into this uh, box. And it like works so fast. Like I just dragged 87 pictures in there and it's all ready to convert. You probably wanna look at the, um, the quality. We usually keep this around 80 and the resolution as actual size and you could play around with the video settings. Um, this converter will make 
picture is actually bigger, uh, much bigger. And we're looking for, um, you know, a good size photo. I usually tell people you want your JPEGs between one and four megabytes, you know, maybe up to six. Um, and hike files are compressed. So when we uh, convert them to JPEGs, they're gonna be a little less compressed. So uh, just change your quality to be very high actual size and you can play with this and decide you know what you want. Now, when I click the convert button, it's gonna ask me where do I wanna convert them to? And I cannot choose the folder that it's in. I wish you could, but you can't. So I created on my desktop this temporary hike conversions folder. So let me just cancel this. I wanna just minimize this and show you this. Here's my empty temporary hike conversions folder. And this is where I am going to save all of these pictures. So let me click convert and we're gonna choose that folder. And now you can see I'm just populating right in here. Okay, and it's fast, super fast. So we get to say okay. Now, if you're real careful when you're working with your folders, so I'm gonna just move the temporary height conversions over and go to the October folder. Mine are still highlighted over here. I can just go to the top, um, and look at 2379, here it's 3.3 megabytes, and here it's saved as three megabytes. That's still in my parameters for a good size photo, but um, it's a little less. So perhaps I would might, I might prefer to save that at a higher quality. You can play around with it, okay? And what I'm gonna do is just uh, delete all of those temporary <laughs> ones I just saved in the temporary folder. And I'm gonna do this again because I do think it's important for people to be aware of photo size and um, you know how, when you're comparing duplicates. Now, the, we are making a set of duplicates even though they're two different file types. This falls in my category of um, being duplicates. So it's nice to compare. Let's change the quality to 100, the very high, as high as it can go. And I would do it for videos, uh, but I don't think I have any in here. Anyway, let's click convert and see what happens now. So now it's converting them again. And now you can see that first photo, 2379, is 4.8 megabytes. And some of my pictures, as I scroll down here, like are even seven megabytes. This size matters because um, it takes up more space the bigger the pictures are. So you can play with the settings. And like I said, if you're in the one to four megabytes, you're gonna be fine for most any photo project. Unless you were <laughs> wanting to like wallpaper one picture that big, then you would wanna save it as large as you can. So uh, uh, my iMazing converter is telling me that is successful. All right, now I'm gonna minimize that. I'm gonna go back to my October photos. I'm gonna verify I had 87 selected. There are 87 photos in my temporary folder. They're all the same and they even have the same dates taken. So it keeps your metadata, it's just fantastic. All right, next up, we wanna delete the hike files. So let me just click move to trash. And then I'm gonna move all of these photos, I'm gonna select all, which is Command A or Control A. And then I'm gonna drag them over into my October folder and I am set. My pictures have been converted. So hopefully I have covered this and you can see how iMazing Converter can work for you. Okay, that was iMazing Converter. What do you think? Leave a comment below. I'd love to know if this will help you. And if you are the type of person that likes the idea of having someone walk you through some of these programs and give you some moral support, tech support, and some camaraderie with like-minded people, you're gonna wanna check out the PIX plan. This is a great place for you to get your 
photo projects done and have fun doing it. All right, that's it for now. We will see you the next time. Thank you.